hello tribe welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a reading um where we're going to be looking at what soulmate is important in your life right now now this goes for both romantic or platonic i will be describing this person and i will be looking for reasons why they are important in this moment of your life right now okay so pile number one is on your left Pile number three is on your right. Choose with your intuition, not your eyes. Meditate if you need some more time. Stop the video and I'll catch you in timestamps. Hello people, whoever has chosen pile number one, let's see. What soulmate is important to you right now? Major, you have the judgment. So. Let me just get a little bit more information for that. I will be using the Steampunk Tarot. Pile number one. What soulmate is important to you right now? Let's see who this is. So, pile number one, people. You have the Page of Swords. You have the Two of Swords. And you also have the page of wands. Okay, let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have judgment again. So this is very important. Anytime cards repeat itself in this manner, it means that, bish, pay attention. Okay, so let's see. Now, I'm going to be jumping between scenarios here because there are a couple of things um, that I want to talk about for one group of people. A current important important soulmate is actually your child especially if you have a couple of children and it seems like these are the people your soul family who somehow elevate you okay to be and it feels like to open your eyes to things that you haven't thought about there is something quite different about them um, that you didn't think that you would have to encounter. And for a lot of you here, it feels like whoever this child is for you, wait, if you don't have children, I'm going to jump into the next scenario. Um, if you... Sorry, there is a lot. your perception on the world changes because of who they are. I hope that makes sense. They also somehow make you feel that you want to tune in a little bit more to your heart space and your intuition. And for a lot of you also, um, it allowed you to connect your feminine a little bit more. Now, for other people who do not have children here, your soulmate is um, younger than you or someone who has a very light-hearted vibe about them. They could be around your age. For most of you, I really don't think that this is um, someone who's older than you. Yes, we're talking about the vibe, but intuitively, it feels like this is someone who is younger than you are. Let's see, what are they teaching you? And I'm going to be using the Tarot of the Angels. What are they teaching you, pile number one? You have the Ten of Swords. You have the Four of Wands. You have the <laughs> Page of Wands on top of the Page of Wands. Whoever the soulmate is, they're teaching you how to be a little bit more lighthearted, how to let go, how to connect to your inner child and how, how to have more fun. Now, when we're talking about lessons, some lessons might be joyful, some lessons can be actually difficult. You know, if someone triggers you in a way where you're like, damn, like I'm not, I'm not feeling my best, or I feel like I gotta, I gotta stop doing something, and that somehow shifts you in that kind of vibe of wanting to explore what's out there for you wanting to look at life from 
the eyes of a child, which is a really nice, curious energy. This is not a childish energy. Um, this is literally someone who's opening their eyes to all the things that they haven't even looked at before. So that's important. For others of you, this soulmate also somehow influences your maybe uh, decision making when it comes to your home environment. Where do you feel like home? Where do you want to go? Who are you with? Does that person make you feel like home and secure and, and supported? All of those things. But it feels like it's more to do with location because I'm splitting the deck and we have seven of cups here. This is someone who's deciding what they want to do next regarding their home environment. Okay. Let's pull from the um, intuitive deck. Whoever is new to my channel, I read from abstract too. Let's see. Why are they in your life? Why are they in your life? Yeah, big time. You're learning from one another. And someone is younger here. Someone is less experienced. Okay? Someone is less experienced and you're like, oh, you have a lot to say. And whatever you're saying, it's very interesting. Please continue that type of vibe okay um again there's something to do with movement here the soulmate somehow might um influence the way you feel like listen i want to get out there i want to see what's out there for me i want to get out to the world i want to explore maybe you started having this um feeling that you want to either move or travel a little bit more than before and you're looking for where your soul is where it feels like home, why you want to visit specific locations. So just please filter out messages and see what is yours because I'm jumping between people's scenarios here, okay? Why is this soulmate in your life? <laughs> this is sweet. Um, they are there to show you how to live gracefully, okay? They're there to show you how to live gracefully and they're there to connect you a little bit more to your feminine energy especially if you felt like you've been in your masculine for way too long they're here to make you feel um they're here to allow you with no distractions to truly ask yourself who you are deep down and once you start asking these questions it feels like that's when you start elevating and you start seeing um, your world from a very different point of view to how you used to view it okay I hope this made sense. This was a short one because I just wanted to check in. Let me know if you like this one, this type of read, because I think I'm doing it for the first time, um, asking these questions, and I might be bringing this back from time to time. Tribe, thank you for being here. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, pal, two people. Let's see what is up with you all. Why is the soulmate in your life? Again, as I said in the intro, this could be romantic, this could be platonic. You have justice. Straight away when I see justice in this topic. Um, now, as you know, we have, as I like to call it, souls that are passengers. And we have this um, group of souls that we are making contracts with um, that are longer contracts. Okay? So this person wouldn't wouldn't just you know come into your life and just leave and teach you a very quick lesson this is more so a person who is part of your soul group your soul tribe your soul family however you want to call this and you probably will incarnate um with them in the lives to come you're just going to be switching roles a bit like in acting okay so let's see what is up with this and i'm going to be pulling from the Super Lunaris deck for you all. Who is the soulmate, please? Let me see. I just want to tune into them a little bit. Who is the soulmate? You have the Queen of Pentacles. 
you have the Queen of Swords. This is definitely either you or them. <laughs> okay, let me just clarify this. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, sorry, one more card, the Wheel of Fortune. I told you this is this is a strong tie here. Now, it feels like we're talking about someone's either mother or person who was in this person's life during very important times in their childhood. Um, this could be maybe a mother image. And somehow this is coming up here for us to be talked about. I don't know why. Now I'm feeling a bit of a pressure in my heart space as well as solar plexus. So it feels like this person is here to teach you self-confidence. That's what I would like to say. To truly go for what your heart desires. And as I said in pile number one, sometimes these people teach us through love. Sometimes these people teach us through suffering, right? So no way to stand with this. But just want to say, it feels like in the past life, you might have been this person's mother yourself. Mother or father, that's for sure. Or maybe even a teacher, okay? Because this is strong. This is strong. It's important to pay attention to what this person says. Um, because they teach not only with their actions, but they teach you with their words. Sometimes it might feel like their, those words are intense and somehow it's like the words have to cut through, you know? And it feels like for, for many of you, you are grateful for those times when this person said something where you felt like, ah, oh, damn it, like, I did not like that. But then you come back home and you go, actually, this opened my eyes to something else. So thank you. That's what kind of vibe I'm, I'm getting here. But let's see, I'm going to pull from the... Which deck do I want now, man? Which deck? Triple Goddess style, that's what we want here. Um, let's see, what is this person teaching you? What is this person teaching you? Let's see, guys. Let's see. Okay. okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the four of wands. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple of cards from the intuitive deck. Whoever is new to my channel, this is just my handmade deck. And I read from abstract sometimes. Let me adjust the camera. Oh, okay. I told you, this person is teaching you self-confidence. This person is teaching you how to take control of your life. How to get up, brush yourself off and say... I'm back on my feet, let's go. That type of vibe. This person is here also to teach you how to find peace in your own mind. And how to be decisive when time comes to make important decisions. This is a strong teacher vibe of this person. Um, they are teaching you many things. Um, this part is much more intense than part number one. This part is all about, um, I'm here. It, okay, so if I listened to both of your souls, this soul and your soul making a contract before incarnation, it would go somewhere along the ways of, you say, listen, in the next incarnation, I want to learn how to be the emperor or empress type of energy. I want to have my shit together. I want to have my strength and I want to see it and I want to, and I also want other people to see what I have to offer. But I'll need to learn quite a lot because I haven't learned this in the past life just yet. So I probably need someone who's a little bit intense with their words or with the way that they raised me up. It might not be easy, but I'll get through it. And the other soul goes, okay. So I'll probably incarnate as your mother, father, teacher, the most important teacher that you cross paths with. 
and I'll keep resurfacing in your life until the job is done. And you go, cool. This could also be someone that you live with or someone who lives um, in the same city like you do, not necessarily in the same home. What is this person here to teach you? How to stand up, stand up for yourself. That's what they're here to teach you. How to be seen and how to be noticed. And how to see, hear, or feel the signs that are coming from above. Somehow this person might have pushed you to be a little bit more in tune with yourself, to also protect your energy and to honor yourself as a temple. How to avoid gossip or how to avoid negative talk, continuous negative talk, okay? It's a pattern of some sorts how to deal with that, to understand where it's coming from. So that was a short check-in, pile number two. Um, I might do more of these readings. Sorry, I don't know why we had an ad here. Um, I might do more of these readings. Um, I might bring it back. Let me know if you like this type of format, because I don't think I've asked questions like that in my previous readings, and I kind of like this one. So I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, pile number three people. So let's see what is up. What is up? You have the five of wands. So first of all, I just want to check in and see who this person is. And we'll go from there. Okay. Who's this person, pile number three? Did I say pile number one? Or did it... Just come through in my mind. I don't know, I'm tripping, guys. <laughs> in case I did. This is part number three. Okay, who is this person? You have temperance. You have the, I just want to put it here, the devil. And you have the knight of pentacles. Okay. Whoever the soulmate is, would it be platonic? Would it be romantic? Um... This person, okay, the next card we have is a nine of swords. This is an interesting scenario. It's, a, it's quite different from the other ones. This person is here, <laughs> seven of cups at the bottom. I had it in every pile, okay? That's why it's interesting. I had it in every pile. This person is someone who tests your patience. And this person is here yeah, we split it up. We have a tower to kind of um, shake things up a little bit for you. Yeah, you might not like it, but I'm sorry. Uh, let me get comfortable here. But um, they are here to literally test your patience and to see when you will wake up because for some of you this might be very very confusing you might be asking a lot of questions why this why that i don't understand that you might be even seeing signs and saying it's about your growth okay um this person might be a difficult type of scenario you know to to cross paths with but since this person is your soulmate um this is someone who whom you made a contract with in order to learn something so it's usually the opposite. If it's a difficult type of um, situation, ship, it's saying, always think back. Think about before signing a contract with this person, what is it that your soul was trying to learn in this incarnation? We're going to check, check in on that. We're going to see. But for example, if you didn't get enough uh, love, um, from that person, you're probably learning how to love yourself first. 
um, that's why they're there, right? Um, if you feel like you are quite codependent or that person is, or there are some kind of bad habits included in that um, relationship, you're probably learning how to cleanse yourself as well as how to find better ways of doing things and how to be a little bit more detached, but in a good way, not completely, right? In a balanced way. Um, let's see, this is quite an interesting one. This is quite an interesting one. Sometimes this person might even trigger you um, without really doing anything. You might be like, oh, this person annoys me. Or you get or you get in your head and you start analyzing your relationship and you're like, I kind of hate this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm telling you what I see. Okay? I'm telling you what I see. What is this person here to teach you? For pile number three, we're going to do things a bit differently. I want to pull from the black mirror deck. And let's read from the book, shall we? What is this person teaching you? Pile number three. Oh, the card flew. Have you just pick it up? Let me just pick it up. Naked before the stars. I do love this card. All right, one more. Which deck we're using? Essential oil oracle cards. What are they teaching you, pile number three? You know, we're talking about soulmates. And this, you, you all know how it works, right? Uh, how spirit, um, soul contracts work. But um, in this case, I want to say that for some of you, this could be a passenger type of soul. The one who kind of comes in, shake things up, and then they leave. But maybe there is going to be an extended time of learning. So it's not a quick thing. Maybe something might resurface again. You know, maybe you know each other for a long time, that type of thing. Um, I'm just saying that because for other pile, I had this feeling where those people could not, I mean, they could, but it was more like, you're gonna be around me anyways because you're like part of the uh, main soul group. Where here, I feel like this person could be a passenger type of soul, okay? So just to let you know, they might not need um, to be in your life forever or resurface from time to time, okay? So that I don't confuse you. You know, sometimes you have a topic, but cards show whatever needs to be shown, so I can't really control it. Okay, what are they here to teach you? for difficulties to stars okay let's see so the first card you have is called destiny trigger statement says i am lost true statement says i do what i love there is a path waiting just for you open just for for you yeah open your heart and mind so you can use it on your journey to fulfillment see there is something that this person is not giving you that you truly need and that's when you shift things around. You're like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not lost. I do what I love. What do I love? And then you start asking questions. This is, this is self-confidence. This is what your heart wants. The next card you have is comfort. People cannot be trusted as trigger statement. True statement says, I trust my heart. Your big, beautiful heart is ready to open. Trust that you will be able to discern who is best to walk with you. So I do think that this person might not have been the best to walk with, or they might have at the very beginning, but suddenly things shifted and you're like, hmm, maybe I need to have a better discernment here. You know, maybe I need to listen to my heart because I feel like my heart already told me something about this situation, part of the learning process. 
Purification card says, trigger statement, their opinion matters to me. True statement says, I see things in a new way. As you release external influences and energy, you will become clear with regard to what is needed. Yeah, and that speaks about this devil card too, where there's some kind of release, purification, cleansing. We talked about that, right? The cleansing itself that needs to happen. Right. Let's take a look at your naked before the stars card. I think um, there might be something there in the book metaphor that you will pick up and you will be able to apply to your situation. So listen carefully because these cards, the way they are described is very interesting and I do love it. Okay, we're going to read everything here. Let me focus. It says, accepting our own beauty in size, color, age, and fat. A beautiful curvy woman wears lacy lingerie. One is black corset and she kneels in her fully full sensuality under the lights of a million artificial stars. Sentence, there is no perfection that is worth enough. There is imperfection as proud as the heavens. Going dark, what do we see when we look in the mirror? Do we see something we like or something we dislike? Something we care or something we are a slave of? Remember this card, their opinion matters to me. So maybe this person has said something or behaved in a certain way that kind of made you feel little. And what you're learning here is the opposite, right? What do we compare ourselves to? To the stars of a media firmament leaking into our real life? To the social models? To the beauty queens and kings of the eternal pageant? To our inner self? To the idea we have, we had when we were younger? To the eyes of the people loving us? I wonder what feelings the words curvy, cute, chubby, Fatty, rounded, aroused within us. If a smile or dis distaste or recognition. The quest for beauty is not an empty quest. Even if beauty is not as deep as the ocean, still, when we shine, our world becomes brighter. But we will always feel naked in front of the stars. We should just learn not to blush and stand proudly. Yeah, it does feel like this person, whoever they are, they teach you how to get up and go. And I also think to leave some kind of situation. Let me just pull from the intuitive deck, whoever is new to my channel. I read from abstract as well. If there's anything else that this person is here for. They're also here to show you that you're not walking alone. What I mean by that, it feels quite spiritual. So, that you're not on your own. So, for example, if you encounter this person and you felt like you had um, quite a lot of disappointment in this situation, relation, whatever this is, um, I feel like after some time you might have noticed how you were receiving signs that you're not, not alone that you are stepping into where you belong once you let go of certain behavior um, that this person might have brought out of you or the triggers you were getting by the way that they behaved. So there is some kind of a trigger over there that seems like pushed you towards a certain path or understanding. It feels like this is quite connected to Yeah, this is quite connected to spirituality. So if I had to wrap this up, you had to go through shit with this person in order to, to focus on your soul's desires. And why it feels like you had to go through shit over here? Um, because that knowledge and that experience, what you dealt with with that person, you're going to be bringing with you as very valuable tool. So I do hope that this made sense, pile number three, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.